Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial series on beginner's guide to MS SQL Server. In this episode, I will show you how to create author and drop database in MS SQL Server 2014 using query as well as GUI. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial series. Okay guys, first of all, we will need to open our MS SQL Server 2014. For this tutorial series, I'm using SQL Server 2014 version. If you have not installed any version of MS SQL Server or do not know how to install MS SQL Server, then don't forget to watch my previous video on how to install MS SQL Server 2014 in your PC. I'll put the link in the description below. So let's open our MS SQL Server 2014. Then click on connect, connect our database. You can connect with Cyrus or your username or with your local database. So first of all, I will click on new query to write our query to create, alter and drop database. First of all, I will uh, list all the database in my system. For this, we have to write select asterisk from SIS dot basis so just select the query and execute so we have all the database in our system we so let's create our database to create just type create database and database name database name I will give database name as test database so again select this query create database and database name our database name take database and click on execute so our command is successfully executed that means we have successfully created our test database to view our database i will just select this query that is select asterisk from sys the databases and execute it so we have our database uh, at last test database so we have successfully created our first database let's change the name or of our database from test database to sample database so we have to write a query that is alter database and database name is test database modify name equals to sample database so we are changing our database name uh, from test database to sample database so this is the query that is alter database older database name modify name is equals to new database name so I'll just select this query and execute it so the message is message shows that the database name sample database has been set so I will see our database so so the test database should be changed to sample database so I will just select this query and execute it so we have successfully changed our name test database to sample database so now let's try to delete the database to delete our database we have to write a drop query that is drop database and database name that is sample database so just select this query and execute to drop our or drop or delete our database so I will just click and execute so command completed successfully so I will just select this query and execute it so we do not have our sample database anymore it is successfully deleted this is the query to select all the database in our system this is the query to create our database this is the query to rename the database and this is the query to drop database so this is it using our query to create alter and drop database uh, so I will just save this query for future use I will upload this query and put the link in the description below so just press ctrl and s to save it and then you can save anywhere so this will be create alter and drop database so I am saving in desktop 
in a .sql format so i'll just click and save i'll just click now let's uh, let's see how we can create our database without using a query that is gui mode so just go to database and i will just expand it we do not have any database yet so to create a new database just right click and click on new database then give a new database name that will be test database and click on ok so we have successfully created our test database uh, and to rename it just click on this and right click and click on rename so type the name you want to give sample database so we have successfully changed our database name from test database to sample database without using query and if you want to delete this database we can delete our database by just right clicking it and uh, clicking on delete so it will ask for permission so click on ok to delete so we have successfully deleted this database so guys we have successfully created altered and deleted database using query as well as GUI mode so if you had any confusion uh, during this episode then don't forget to comment in the video and if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, while subscribing don't forget to click, click on bell icon so you will not miss any new videos that i upload in the next video i will show you how to create alter and drop table using query as well as gui mode in ms sql server 2014 so see you guys bye bye